All right, um, let's have a look at transformation. A transformation is one of a set of predefined movements of a plane shape and or a point. So once you hear transformation, you're going to think about movement. The object or pre-image under a transformation is the shape or point that is about to change position. So the shape that is about to change position, the shape that is about to move is called the object or the pre-image. The image under transformation is the plane shape or point resulting from a change in position of the object. All right, let's talk about the different types of transformation. All right, these are the different types of transformation. We have translation. The symbol for translation is T. We have reflection. The symbol for reflection is M. We have rotation. The symbol for rotation is R. And there's enlargement, and the symbol for enlargement is E. All right, so we said that translation, reflection, and rotation are what we call congruent transformation, and enlargement is what you call a similar transformation. Now, what is a congruent transformation? A congruent transformation is one in which the object and the image are identical shapes. So in other words, the shape that is about to move and the shape that results after movement, they're identical shape. So um, a shape that is what translated, reflected, or rotated remains the same. The object and the image are, are identical shapes. Now, identical shape means that the angles and the lengths of sides are preserved. In other words, um, both the object and the image have the same shape and the same size. Now, a similar transformation in one in which the object and the image are similar shapes. Um, with similar shapes, the angles are preserved, preserved um, meaning that the, um, the two shapes, the object and the image, have the same shape but different size. All right, let's start, our, let's start talking about translation. Now, a translation is a transformation in which the object is mapped onto the image by moving in a straight line without turning. A translation is a transformation in which the object is mapped onto the image by moving in a straight line without turning. A translation may be um, expressed or represented as a column matrix. So the translation T may be represented as a column matrix XY. Now the top value um, X is um, it describes um, the horizontal movement and the bottom value Y describes vertical movement. Now, if the top value is um, positive, it means that you're moving to the right. If the top value is negative, it means that you're moving to the left. If the bottom value is positive, it means that you're moving vertically upwards. And if the bottom value is negative, it means that you're moving vertically downwards. All right, let's have a look at an example. It's a simple example here. This says, um, in this example, you're asked to draw a triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of triangle A, B, C under translation T, which is four minus three. All right, so the first thing we're asked to do is to draw a triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of triangle A, B, C, under translation T, which is four minus three. Now, translation four minus three, the top value represents um, horizontal movement. It is positive. It means that this entire shape is gonna be moved four units to the right horizontally and three units vertically downwards. All right, so let's start. Whenever you move a shape, what you're going to do is that you're gonna move the shape one vertex at a time. So let's move the vertex B. We're gonna move the entire shape four units to the right. So that's one, 
two, three, four units to the right, and three units down, one, two, three. All right, so that makes this the new position of B. It's a new position of B. All right, so the new position of B is going to be four, one. All right, so the new position of B is going to be 4, 1, which is here. So this is B prime. All right, next we're going to move C, four units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, and three units down. 1, 2, 3. All right, so the new position of C is going to be here. And that new position is um, is seven zero. The new position of C is going to be seven zero. All right. And the last point we're going to move is A. We're going to move it four units to the right. That's one, two, three, four, and three units down. One, two, three. So the new position of A is going to be 5, 5 um, minus 1. So that's the new position of A, that is A prime. Once you have, ident once you have moved all three um, vertices, let's put C prime here. Once you have moved all three vertices, you simply use a ruler to connect the, to connect the points. All right, so A, B, C, um, A, B, C is the object, and A prime, B prime, C prime is the image. All right, so how did we get this image? We'll move each vertex, all three vertices, um, four units to the right and three units down. All right, the second thing we're asked to do is to state the coordinates of A and A prime. Now, well, A... Um, the coordinates of A is, um, so A is the point um, 1, 2, and A prime is the point um, 5, minus 1. A is the point 1, 2, and A prime is the point 5, minus 1. So this would be I, I. Alright, um, this is a matrix equation of um, transformation. Um, so let us show you how this works. The matrix equation of translation, sorry, of translation says A plus T is equal to A prime. Um, a while ago, we concluded that A, A was the point, A was the point um, 1, 2, um, A prime, is the point five one and um t um was four minus three all right that's what we got from the previous examples now let us um use the um the matrix equation of translation to see if to see if it is if it is correct if it will um if it works all right so what this is saying is that a prime would be equal to a plus t. Alright, so a is um, 1, 2, and t is 4 minus 3. So if the matrix equation of translation is correct, when I'm finished, I'm supposed to get a prime, which is 5. I think it's 5 minus 1, not 5, 1. 5 minus 1. So let us see if that's going to happen. All right, so if I add, I'm going to get 1 plus 4, it's the top value, and 2. A positive times a negative is a negative, minus 3. So the answer here is um, 1 plus 4 is 5, 
and 2 minus 3 is minus 1. All right. So by so this would be um, a prime. So a prime would have coordinates five minus one. All right. So this is actually something that would work. The matrix equation of translation um, it works for all the points. Say if I used b and b prime, it would also work. Inverse transformation. The inverse of a transformation is that transformation that returns um, the image of a point or plane shape to its original position. So the inverse transformation is a transformation that returns the image back to the image, the image back to the object. The inverse transformation. So if the transformation takes the object to the image. The inverse transformation is going to take the image back to the object. Now, if T maps A prime um, triangle ABC onto triangle A prime B prime C prime, then translation minus T will map triangle A prime B prime C prime back to triangle ABC. Therefore, minus T is the inverse translation of T. So in other words, if T takes um, A, B, C to A prime, B prime, C prime, minus T is going to take A prime, B prime, C prime back to A, B, C. All right, here's an example. Um, translation T, which is um, 4 minus 3, maps triangle. A, B, C onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime with coordinates A prime, 5 minus 5 minus um, 1, B, B prime, 4, 1, and C prime, 7, 0. State the coordinates of the vertices of A, B, and C. All right, um, let's go back to the matrix equation for, trans for transformation. For translation matrix equation for translation it says a plus t is equal to a prime so this should also be true then that a is equal to a prime minus t all right so a prime is 5 um, minus 1 minus t which is 4 minus 3. So if this is correct, um, I should get um, back A, which is, um, I think it was 1, 2. So this would become um, 5 minus 4 and minus 1. A negative times a negative gives me a positive 3. So this is going to give me 1 and minus 1 plus 3 gives me positive 2. So it means that A has coordinates 1, 2. All right, so I could do this also for B and for C. Um, for B, it would be B plus T gives me what? B prime. So B would be equal to B prime minus t same thing it works um this is what four one minus t which is four minus three so this is going to give me what four minus four and one plus three because a negative times a negative gives me a positive this is going to give me zero four so it means that the coordinates of B would be 0, 4. All right, I could do the, um, I could do the same thing for C um, in order to determine the coordinates of the coordinates of the object A, B, C. Here's another example. Um, the same um, matrix equation of translation may also be used to find to find um to find to determine the translation itself here we're told that um translation t maps 
um, triangle ABC um, with coordinates 2, 6, um, B, 4, 7, C, 3, 9, onto A prime, B prime, C prime with coordinates A prime minus 1, 2, etc., etc., etc. Or to describe um, translation T completely. Using again the matrix equation of translation, we have um, A plus T gives you A prime. So T would actually be equal to A prime minus A. So T would be, um, A prime would be minus 1, 2 minus b minus a which is 2 6 so this would be minus 1 minus 2 this would be 2 minus 6 so at the top here we would get minus 3 minus 4 the signs are the same we add and keep the sign if the signs are different, we subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So it means that um, that um, translation T minus three minus four is a translation of three units left parallel to the x-axis and um, four units vertically downwards parallel to the y-axis all right so we're asked to describe translation t so triangle a b c is mapped onto triangle a prime b prime c prime by translation t which is minus 3 minus 4 which is a translation of three units left parallel to the x-axis and four units vertically downwards parallel to the y-axis all right um here um i don't think we're going to do this in its entirety but um, now these are um, what we're going to do here is in, bo in both instances we're going to translate the shape. Um, the translation matrix for the one at the bottom is five six. The top value um, describes horizontal movement, and the bottom value describes vertical movement. So um, the translation vector is five six, which means I need to move this entire shape five units to the right and six units um, vertically upwards. So five units to the right would be one, two, three, four, five. And six units up would be one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be the new position of G and this would be G prime. All right, so let's rub out these. All right, so um, we'll do the same for for all the um, all the vertices. Um, G H I J K. So let's do the same now for H. Um, five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Six units up, one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be the new position of H. This would be H prime. So, 
So if we did the same thing for i, i would end up here. So this is i prime. The same thing for j, that would end up here. That would be what, five units to the right? One, one, two, three, four, five, six units up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be the new position of j. This would be j prime. So um, all points on the objects on the object is going to be moved five units to the right and six units up. Um, so k would end up here. So this would be k prime. All right. Once we have um, once we have what? Once we have moved all vertices, then we'll just simply use our ruler to connect the points. Pencil ruler to connect the points and draw the All right, so this shape would be my object, and this is the image. Now, the object is the shape that is about to change position, and the image is the shape that results from the movement of the um, object. Um, we could do the same for that um, top left arrow shape. Um, the translation vector is four minus five. Which is saying I would have to move it um, four units to the right and five units down. I'd have to move it four units to the right and five units down. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now. All right, um, in this diagram, um, this is telling me translation vector um, being minus four. Five is saying move the shape four units to the left. So we can go with and five units up. So four units to the left would be one, two, three, four units to the left. One, two, three, four, five units up. This would be the new position of H. That would be H prime. All right. So as before, all, sh all points, all vertices, on the object are going to be moved um, five units to the left and four units up. So therefore, let's move I four units to the left, sorry, one, two, three, four, and five units up, one, two, three, four, five. That would mean the new position of um, I would be here. I prime. If we do that for all the points, J would end up here, J prime, um, K would end up here, K prime, and L would end up here, L prime. All right. Use a ruler to connect the shape. Connect all the vertices to form by the shape. Please note that with um, a translation, the object and the image are identical shapes. Object image. All right. All right, let's have a look at this um, question. It's another question. It's another question based on the topic of translation. It says, um, the diagram below shows triangle ABC and its image triangle A prime, B prime, C prime under translation T, where to state the coordinates of A and A prime. All right, so just by looking at it, um, A is here, 
and um, the vertical coordinate is um, the x coordinate is minus 3 and the y coordinate is positive 1 so a is the point minus 3 1 a prime is here and the coordinates of a prime vertical coordinate is 1 and the horizontal coordinate is minus 3 all right now we're to describe t um, t describe fully translation t all right so in a sense to get from a to a prime i have to move what one two three four units to the right and one two three four units down all right or i could use a calculation method which is to say a a plus t is equal to a prime and that's the matrix um the matrix equation for translation. So T would be equal to um, A prime minus A, which would be minus three, one, no, sorry. Which would be um, 1 minus 3 minus minus 3 1 so this becomes 1 plus 3 because the negative times the negative is a positive and minus 3 minus 1 so T with the translation vector 4 minus 4. So I could probably say something like this that triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime by translation t which is 4 minus 4 a and so cut it a little um 4 units right parallel to the x-axis and four units downwards parallel to the y-axis right. All right, so largely um, that is what it's sort of like um, the the sum total of um, translation.